Hello and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga and I have yet again an unboxing video. I heard uh, a lot of people like these unboxings so therefore I uh, kept filming them. Um, this is for now I've probably the last one because I have uh, quite a lot of orchids but um, there were a few that I really wanted to add to my collection and especially one uh, I will talk about it a little bit, this is a kind of funny story, but um, this is the first time that I ordered from Arket Garden, Garten, Garten from uh, Germany. And um, so I'm very excited. The um, first impression is okay, it's a very sturdy box, so that's uh, beautiful of course. Um, but yeah, the funny story, there's a little, uh, there, of a little, there's an Arket in there, it's called the Dendrobium Banana Royal something. And I had my eyes on that orchid for probably two or even three years. They have it uh, quite long in their collection. But I couldn't find any more orchids. And because of the postage cost, um, I uh, think it's more suited if you order a few more orchids. Um, so therefore I kept waiting and waiting and waiting. And now I finally found some orchids that I would like to add in my collection as well from Orchid Garden. So therefore uh, I now finally have ordered also the Dendrobium Banana Royal. But um, yeah, so let's have a look at uh, how the uh, orchids uh, do look and in what kind of condition they, uh, they come. I have my scissors ready. I only did cut the um, tape for the most part. And um, I did uh, remove my errors there. But for the rest I had no look inside yet. And you can see that because I still have some tape on it. Here we go. I hope I have this nicely in frame here. I think I have. Oh, we have some... Uh, some flyers, folders, how do we call them? Here's some information there. Um, yeah, I think it's all in German and, and I, I just can't read German. I can not speak German, so I'm sorry. I Probably wonderful information there, but I don't have a clue. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move that side of the box. Oh, look at that. Yes, I ordered two Vandasia types because I now have more space in my greenhouse. I can hang them. And I now did order a few bigger ones. My last order I had two very, very young seedling orchids. Venus, I should say. Oh, beautiful. A lot of nice roots. Very long, nice roots. So I can spray them uh, within a few minutes. Uh, oh, here it is. This is the, I hope you can see it, the Venda Veropol Yellow. I saw the picture and I have already a yellow Venda, but this one had beautiful yellow blooms as well. So I thought, yeah, why not? And we have, I think, even some Happy Sap, whoops, on the orchid still. So, they were happy there. <laughs> so let's put it this one aside. So this is the first Venda. I love the roots on this one. Beautiful long roots. And here ha we have another one. Mm. Oops, I must admit I don't like if they put the roots up like this, but yeah, with post-its it's, it's kind of hard to get uh, keep room for them, but I think they are uh, still do okay, so yeah, I think they did a good job on that. And again, very beautiful long roots on this orchid, and this one had beautiful red blooms. It's a uh, Perarara Bangkok Sunset crossed with Renathera Storii Red. I hope you can see the tech I'm sorry uh, I didn't check that but um yes this is a beautiful cross I think beautiful uh, blooms and who knows it may be fragrant I once had the sunset one of the parents of this one but um, it step stopped growing for me I, I couldn't get it to grow properly in in the house 
but I uh, really like this one as well. So let's give this a try. I see seven pots. Did I order? Yeah, I think I ordered quite a lot of them. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I have some uh, smaller ones as well. So let's have a look. But they are nicely packed so far. Wrapped. Oh, this one is in a clay pot, I think. I never had that before, I must admit. Uh, where are my scissors? Here they are. Um, I'm sorry guys, sometimes this takes a little bit of time to unwrap them. Because of all the tape and such. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This is a obviously a Tulamia, and this is the Yarek Rainbow Hot Pink. And I think they did a nice job on putting this up. It's in a basket and it's surrounded by some bark. I will give it uh, some pumice around it, and I think I will change the clay pot but I really uh, like it because I bought clay pots already so uh, I, li I like to have uh, the same pots just because of the look of it but this one is, uh, is beautiful and we have let's grab this one first it doesn't matter I thought this one was a uh, another Tulumia but no this I don't think so because it's a very big pot. Or it must be a quite a lot of Tolamias, but I don't think they uh, are that big already. Um, oh, this would this be the Royal? I don't know. I hope it has a tag. I don't see a tag yet. Uh, quite a lot of tape. Quite a lot. A little bit damp still, so I, it's not in a very a lot of mush. Yeah, it's, it's the royal. Banana Royal, I'm sorry. Was some moss left, but it's the. Oops, my finger is on that tag. Banana Royal. Because I waited quite some years, I was <laughs> expecting a little bit bigger plant, but I think they uh, they get new plants in, uh, of course. But this has a beautiful new growth there. I think this is also new, some new growth. I'm not completely sure. It did. They did take off a little bit of that leaf and that one, so but yeah, it was listed on the website uh, and it was um, on discount and it was listed that within transport the leaves were a little bit damaged. So I uh, they did uh, notice me um, for that, so it's not a problem at all. But um, I don't like this stick in there. Whoop. So beautiful, another dendrobium. <coughs> But we have a few more. To go. Let's open up the next one. Ah, there is the other Tulumnia. Oops, a lot of tape. Packed well, but very st sturdy. Ugh. Hard to get out. Oops. No, that will work.
I don't want to damage the arc at all, actually, so... I have to keep my eyes on it. Uh, here we go. This is the Mocha swatch. Let me show it to you guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Firm Mocha swatch. But it looks uh, very yeah, beautiful. Nice green colors on the leaves. Beautiful roots in there. So, I will also put this one in uh, pumice as well because I like growing them. I'm fairly new to uh, Talumnias. But the two that I have, already have, seem to be liking the way I grow them now. I did a care collab, if I don't forget I will put a link in, otherwise you can find it on my channel obviously. But I did a care collab on Talumnias and I really enjoyed them and I also mentioned in that video that I like to have a few more. And I saw two um, ones that I really like to add to my collection. So we have now four Talumnias. And I th I'm not sure, I think I ordered two of them. Oops. And another Tolumnia. <laughs> I'm kidding, not for obviously. Um, it's one of the Catalea. Or at least could lay it tight. Oops. Uh, let's see if we can find the tag. Also growing in moss. It's still a bit damp. I would prefer that they would shit and dry, but yeah. Besides that, it looks kind of great, but it's parted up quite much in that moss. So I will have to keep uh, get it out uh, quite quickly. Or I'll see Mem Burna Pan Nikom Sweet Orange. <laughs> Sweet Orange, beautiful blooms. Additional pictures, I hope to see them in real life one day. But uh, yeah, I think it's uh, looking uh, okay, this one. But I don't like the moss. But that's my problem. And I will change it as soon as I, as I have time. I don't normally wait as long to, whoops, to let them adjust. I just repot them as quickly as I can. That's something I, uh, I do. And I never have any problems with it. But yeah, like I said, this is just what I'm doing. I'm not saying you should do it. And especially if you're starting with Argus, you should wait until you see new growth, new roots. That's better. But if you are getting more experienced, I think you can uh, cope with uh, with the transition period. This one does seem to be a little bit dry, shriveled canes. That's not something I like. And if it's tender, it may be a, another problem with this argot. Some grow like this, I know, so it's Maybe it's not a problem, but hmm. it's something that I uh, know, notice uh, quite quickly. Something I look into if they are um, shriveled or not. But it has a new growth, but it's very uh, wobbly in a pot. As you can see, if I move it, it's still damp, so I'm not completely sure. This is the RLC um, Chutang Beauty. I have no idea if I pronounce it right, I don't think so. <laughs> but anyhow, yeah. Also, beautiful blooms. Also, it's Chutang Beauty. Chutang Beauty, yeah. This is not always the best, my pronunciation. I can even uh, pronounce that word, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's what it is. And luckily I'm not the only one with, uh, if it comes to the names of the orchid, I think a lot of people are struggling with them. And I uh, can rely to that. <laughs> but anyhow. I 
think this is a new genre. I do not have in my collection yet. I have a feeling it's this one. I do a sneak peek. Yes! It is. Oops. It did remind me a little bit of the uh, Saigos and uh, Psychopetliums and also the uh, Stenhopias because of the leaves. But uh, it is a um, Calante Seaboldii. As I saw in the picture, beautiful uh, yellow blooms. But I don't have a uh, Calante. 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 And um, yeah, I thought I'm just gonna give this a uh, go at uh, self in self watering, and we will uh, see if she likes it or not. I like to uh, try out some new genera uh, sometimes, and uh, yeah, like I said, I don't have this one, so we will have a repot on this one soon. Let's put it on the floor, and to be to be honest, I need to look it up. The general care of the Calanthias, of Calanthias. I have no idea actually. I didn't look it up yet. But I have warmer, intermediate, and cooler sections now because of the orchid room that I have. So I just have to look it up and find a suited uh, space for it. And I'm not. You, so, uh, while I'm talking, I try to re. re whoops! Un uh, unpack this one as well. but. And now I have this, these options in my greenhouse and orchid room. And it feels really like a luxury. It is a luxury to have those options. And it's, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. So I know, like I said, I just have to look it up what, it, what the orchid likes. But anyhow, that's for uh, concerns from, uh, for later on. Let's unpack this one. And I can't remember which one this should be. To be honest, <laughs> oh, oh, no, I don't know, but this is a big one. Look at that. Look at that. This is a really big orchid. New growth here. Yeah. That's strange. Why can I re not remember this one? Um, well, you probably will find a tag and then I know what I'm talking about. But first I have to find a way through the tape, as, as always. Here we go. Yeah. And this one could use a repot as well. It's grown to the edge. I must admit, uh, I must say this growth is a little bit more in the middle, that new growth, but still I uh, will give it a repot. And this one will be top heavy, that's for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I remember again. Yes. It's the um, Dendrobium Marcopholum, cross with, with the spec Spectabula, Spectabula. <laughs> and this one is a quite familiar one, I think, the Spectabula, the Dendrobium Spectabula. But it's a, obviously a cross, because I couldn't find, I can only find seedlings from the Spectabula. And uh, yeah, I thought I want a, a slightly bigger one, but I have to admit, I had no idea it was such a big orchid. But I, I like it, I really, really like it. But it's kind of huge. I hope you can see it in comparison with my hands. This is the pot. And orchid, 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 orchid. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. I'm really happy with it. So, okay, this is, uh, I think, the last one. Let's check um, the box. I first need to find a place to put this huge orchid. Yes, it's already. It's already top heavy, but anyhow, that's only uh, a good thing. I I'm gonna make some noise to see if I have every orchid out of the box. Now, 
I didn't forget anything. Um, okay, this is it. And I'm back and I'm going to edit in this part because I did forget to give an overview of the uh, order for today. Here are the two biggest plans, well at least parrot and biggest plans. <laughs> And this Jambrobium, this cross, it's beautiful. It's really, really, like I said, a big plant. Here are the smaller ones, I just watered them a little bit. Uh, only the uh, Telumnias. And this, uh, these two guys, because they were a little bit dry. The other ones were still damp, so I didn't water them. And my two Venda types. And you can see the difference in the roots. I had my Venice for years in uh, glass faces for about three years, I think. So that's why they have that strange shape to them. These guys were hanging in uh, the greenhouse, uh, so that's why those roots are growing down. And I just watered them with some seaweed or oh, seaweed seaweed water because they were very dry. And I hope they uh, will take up and be happy here they are a bit smaller than the venice that i already have but that's okay i think they are suited here very well i now start to get a venda wall as well and i really really like it i love my venice as well so but yeah this was the part of the uh, the overview of the order for uh, today okay this is it for now and this is was my unboxing from the orchid garden from germany and soon i will uh, film my uh unpotting them and unpotting them in their new settings so um as usual if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and i hope to see you at one of my next videos bye bye